Hello, welcome to the studio. Uh, today I am working on a set of dry points that I made before Christmas actually um, at my local print studio, Spike Print Studio. Um, and I'm just going to be adding colour, layers, complexity uh, and seeing where it takes me. If you like what you see then uh, subscribe to the channel and like the video and you can look at my website ruthander.co.uk for lots more work and workshops and you can follow me on Instagram at ruthanderprints. So these are the pieces I'm going to be working on. I've just picked these up from the print studio and these are, this is dry point here, just scratched into metal. It was actually an old plate that I had and I used the back of it and actually these marks here were already on it um, and then I added a little bit more to them but there's lots of like odd little marks like these scratches here um, that were already on there and it's just a kind of very scruffy plate and then as I printed them I kind of got scruffier scruffier and darker and darker um, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these yet um, but we shall see okay so this is the palette that I've mixed um, kind of randomly I want to kind of do a sunset um, so I've just done a few sunsetty type colors um, and uh, quite a lot of this is going to be rolling out uh, rolling straight onto the pictures I think um, so I'm just getting my rollers ready and the first thing I'm going to do what am I going to do I think I'm gonna have this very light just off white color I'm just going to go over some of the darker areas um, just get a bit more light into them and hopefully a kind of almost like a feeling of a vapor rain and I'm keeping the edge of that roller sort of soft ish so I don't get too many roller mark lines I'm going to start with this one. This is the one I like the least, so I'm normally going to start with that. Um, I don't like the edge at the moment, so I'm going to just go over that. Okay. So I've taken the edge away from the dark colour there. And I might also add some of this to... I'm, I'm very much improvising here. Um, Going to add some of this to this one as well. I'm just going with the roller marks on this one. And the first thing I'm going to do, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to have this very light, just off white colour. I'm just going to go over some of the darker areas. Um, just get a bit more light into them. And hopefully a kind of, almost like a feeling of a vapour rain. And I'm keeping the edge of that roller sort of soft-ish, so I don't get too many roller mark lines. So I'm going to start with this one. This is the one I like the least, so I'm normally going to start with that. I um, don't like the edge at the moment, so I'm going to just go over that. Okay. So I've taken the edge away from the dark colour there. And... I might also add some of this to, so I'm, I'm very much improvising here, um, going to add some of this to this one as well. Kind of just going with the roller marks on this one. So I'm going to add a bit more interest to um, some of the plainer areas of these. So um, hopefully we're just going to get a bit more complexity and a few more layers of colour built up. So I'm just this is ultramarine mixed with white, and it just kind of ends up having this rather lovely iridescent lavender type colour. 
think I'm going to put a bit of this on the lightest one here. I don't want to cover up the lovely kind of patina. What I might, I, although I might cover up some of this colour at some point. It's actually the lovely colour of the sea at the horizon in this place. So it may be that I actually end up covering up sort of some of it and just have that lovely bright area in the distance. But really at the moment, I just want to get a bit of interest and layers and complexity starting on these. Now I might just take off some of that where the darker lines are just to get a bit of mark making in there. It's not taking that much off but actually it just, had, just has a little bit of texture. Now with this one I think what I might do actually is I'd quite like to put some of this colour on this area here, but I would like it to look a bit more gestural. So I'm going to actually put some ink onto here. I need a bit more than that. So I'm putting it on this side of my plastic because everything you print is going to print on the other side. So I want it on this, I want it on this side here. I'm going to put it here on the other side. So I'm going to get something, a piece of kitchen towel. And again, on here, I want, I want it to kind of aim that way. So that means I've got to do the opposite on here. So I'm being quite haphazard with this. Okay, let's see if that prints. It may not, but we'll see. Because again, we are printing here on pretty thick etching paper. So it's not ideal for mono printing when picking up every single mark, but it is surprising what you can get sometimes. Just using the baron there to apply pressure. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that has come out. And I like that. So I'm going to add some yellow now. And I think I'm going to do this in quite a sort of gestural, painterly way. Um, I'm just going to put some, some on there without rolling it and see how that works. I'm going to start by putting it onto this one. Now, one thing I'm going to quickly do is um, I can find a pencil. Yeah, there we go. I'm actually just going to, you won't be able to see this, but I'm just going to hold this against the light so that I can put, just draw on the back the horizon line. Just helps me sort of know. Um kind of where I'm going to be placing this because I want this above the horizon line and I'm also just going to just kind of do it by eye as well because once this is down that's it because there's so much ink on there she says figure out this Okay, I think that's good. We'll see. <laughs> okay, that's actually rather nice. So these are inspired by a place called Breen Sands which some of you may know I visit quite a lot and it's a massive, massive beach, this massive expanse 
of kind of muddy sand and when the tide's out the reflections from the sky and the sunset are amazing so the top half of these prints is the sky and the bottom half is the sand now i am just going to soften up the edges of this roller so when you are if you are using a roller to just roll directly onto paper and you don't want really straight roller marks just a top tip is to just gently take off paint or ink from the edges of the roller you may still get a little bit but hopefully not quite as much as you would normally oh now that actually i have to say i really like that that is kind of how it looked at the time as well <laughs> So lovely reflections. And I'm going to have a go doing the same with this one. I'm just going to pick something off the roller. Oh, yeah. I'm actually just going to keep that really subtle, just as it is. No more. These are what I've ended up with at the end of that session. And I'm going to have to stop there, I think, because there's a lot of paint on these now. And anything I add, any major stuff I add on now is going to uh, merge and get a bit muddy which is not really what I want. I am just going to add just a little touch. I've got a little bit of orange on there We're on a, on a cotton bud and I am just going to see if I can just add a kind of suggestion of a sunset there. <laughs> 